In this lesson, we'll learn how to control how muscle objects interact with skin via our M-Skin properties. So what we'll do in this lesson is take a look at the rest of the M-Skin properties. Let's head over to our Object tab. All right, so we know what pull does, and this is useful for stretching behavior, and at times compression, but mostly stretching. Now, slide is going to do just the opposite. This is how much the muscle pushes the skin away. So as we start to decrease this, you'll notice that the skin tucks tighter to the muscle. However, as we start to increase, the skin starts to push away. And this is what helps to avoid interpenetration between the muscle and the skin. That and, of course, the fat offset, which we've also taken a look at, creating more, more volume, more of an, an underlining muscle effect. So I'll go ahead and set this back to 7. And then we have more pull properties, and we've already taken a look at this. So this is the influence that the pull has over the entire mesh. If you ever would like to clear out your initialization, it's very simple. Simply choose clear. However, if you do that, you'll need to reinitialize the pull. And then we've taken a look at our pull modes. Now, absolute might be useful when working with a smaller distance and when wanting to really see the, the muscle sliding for a, a fitter character, one that is not as as uh, chubby as this guy here. But I find that relative works very well. And now we come to stretch. I really enjoy using this when we run into irregularities in the skin. So we saw that around frame 64 or so, there was some pinching. We'll use stretch to fix these type of issues. So watch this. When we go ahead and enable stretch, notice how the system smooths our skin out to eliminate those problems. The strength is how much the stretch will, will affect the skin. Chances are you're going to want to leave that at 100%. Then we have smoothing iterations. So uh, if we were to increase this, let's say to about a value of 8 or so, I think that works out very well. But as we start to increase that, keep in mind that it will also affect your, your performance. So you may not want to bring your iterations too high. I tend to leave it around uh, 5 and 8. And now stiffness. This is useful for sharper deformations. Why would we want that? Well, as we start to smooth our skin more and more, as we start to increase our iterations, well, we'll start to, at the same time, lose the, the original form of our character. So stiffness, this will sharpen things up a bit so that we don't lose all of those deformation effects. As of right now, we'll leave the stiffness as is, but we may need to use it when we add jiggle, which we'll use for the calf muscle. So that's going to be really neat. And the, the stiffness parameter will help to make sure that the jiggle doesn't overshoot things. And the last thing I just wanted to point out is our falloff tab. So here, it's really basic. It's just uh, the amount of falloff that we can used to control smoothing. I tend to leave this as is. It works very well. And all of the changes I, I normally make with muscle rigs is from either the object tab from the M skin or from the properties under the muscle object itself. And we'll take a look at a few other properties that it holds. But that's basically it for uh, the, the M-Skin properties. So we now have learned how to use all of these settings to get some even better results from our muscle rig. In the next lesson, we're going to learn how to define how uh, a muscle deforms.